that was a residential lighthouse at Boulder's Wall, at uh, Boulder's Rock. It was an oyster rock. And that was the only residential lighthouse in the Rap Hammond. There were two at the both, Stingray Point and Windmill Point. But that was the only one, I think, up the Rap Hammond. In 1918, there was a terrible ice storm, and it took that lighthouse away. And they built a steel structure out there, which is out there now, and put a light on it and a bell. And my father got the job of taking care of that light. Of course, it was, the light then was settling, and the bell was run by CO2 compressed gas. Great big bell. Beautiful sound, and I rang it away at 1,200,000 pa pounds. And he also took care of a light at Jones's Point, which is about four miles down the road. That was kerosene to start with. Now, of course, it had a globe on it that magnified the light. And it was good those days because nobody had an electricity and there wasn't any lights on the shore. And that was the only light in the road. And those two lights marked the channel coming up the road. He kept that job for 35 years. It became uh, uh, part-time uh, man who worked for the Coast Guard, United States Coast Guard. I might tell you what a range light is, if you don't, if you're not familiar with that. In these creeks, like Torres Key Creek and Hoskins Creek, right up here, the channels were narrow and they had range lights that I took care of. That would be a blinking light right at the mouth of the creek. Then back away from it would be a taller light that would blink slower. And when those two lights were in line with each other, you were in the channel. And when they got out of line, you were out of the channel. The man that took care of it, the presidential light in Bowler's Rock, which was back turn of the century. His name was Robert Spence from Tangier Olive. He was on it late the night. He thought the ice was gonna break up. It had been frozen for two or three weeks. And he thought the ice was gonna take the light away. So he took the light off the top of the lighthouse, put it on a sled, pushed it to shore, and put it on the shore. And that night, the lighthouse was taken away. <laughs>